one of the beautiful things about this show is really meeting and connecting with amazing people and creating spaces for them to share their stories and experiences. And one way we've been able to do that is by teaming up with Lovey Ajayi Jones. This is our fourth segment together, and she is one of the co-creators of the Share the Mic campaign. In fact, go ahead and take a look. The mission of Share the Mic Now is to amplify the voices of black women, giving them a platform and igniting change through sisterhood. And this is why I'm really excited about today's Share the Mic Now guest. Because it's beauty week, it's only fair that I bring on an amazing beauty boss. Her name is Melissa R. Butler, and she's CEO and founder of The Lip Bar, a cruelty-free beauty brand that is on a mission to change the way we think about beauty. She's also a fellow Midwestern girl, so you know I have a soft spot for her. And honestly, on this show, I've been on about four times so far. I've probably had on the lip bar three out of those four times because their reds are the perfect red for anybody. Y'all meet Melissa R. Butler. Hi, lovey. How are you? Hey, Drew. Oh, it's so nice to see you. You know, I put on the lip bar lip liner when we were giving the history of the red lip. It is the most incredible formula. Listen, it's so good. It, is, it just makes you feel like you are instantly on point. No, it's so true. Well, Lovey, without further ado, I would love to meet Melissa, the amazing woman that you have brought on. You are absolutely right. It's our fourth time together, and I can't wait to do many more. Um, hello, yes. Melissa. Hey, Drew. Hey, Lovey. Good morning. Hey, Melissa. Oh my goodness, Melissa, your lips. I'm sorry, they're like day glow. <laughs> they are so beautiful. Is that lip bar? Of course. So of this course. is my favorite color. This one is Boy Trouble. <gasps> and it's like a liquid matte, so it won't come off. You know, that's the kind of boy trouble I'm looking for. <laughs> Lovey, you have a question for Melissa. Why don't you kick us off? So Melissa, I'm wearing Boss Lady, which you already know is my favorite. I know it's How your jam. How do you come up with these titles? Boss Lady, Brick House, Boy Trouble. How do you come up with the titles for the lips? So the names, like I personally name every single product and I get so much joy out of it. The whole goal is just to describe our customers and to remind people that that women are not a monolith, right? So we can be a boss lady, we can be boy trouble, we can be first lady, we can be madam president, yes. we can be all things. Yes. And so that's really how I think about naming the product. We've been talking a lot on this show about how I want to create a mood board because women are not just one thing. We are interested in beauty. We are interested in family. We are interested in business. You know, I love art and design and so many things, but I love business. And I'm really interested in how you grow something and like being productive. And I'm just so many things. And it's so amazing to talk to you guys, because Melissa, your, your path to this company wasn't traditional. Tell us how you started. No, most people who have makeup companies, they were either makeup artists or they just have like this deep passion for makeup. For me, I've never been a makeup girl. I actually worked on Wall Street and I started the company making lipstick in my kitchen. Again, not because I was so in love with makeup, but really because I was frustrated with the beauty industry, its lack of diversity, the excessive amounts of chemicals, and this idea that women were supposed to fit in this beauty box. And I was like, no, instead of complaining about it, I'm gonna change it. I mean, I also think that your experience in finance is such an asset because it is one thing to be a creative, but if you don't have a business prowess, you're not gonna make it. And if you're all business and don't have any creative, it's not gonna work either. You really need both. Lovey, how did you discover Melissa and like meet each other and find each other? You know what's funny? It is a full circle moment because I was on Kalana Barthel Brown's Instagram one day. This was years ago. And Kalana's on, been on the show a couple of times. And she had on this amazing red lip. And I said, well, I need you to let me know this color right now. And she was like, oh, it's the lip bar, boss lady. And I was like, I'm ordering it right now. And that's how I discovered lip bar. And now I have like seven of their lip colors. Any reds that I'm wearing, whether plums or like fire, is probably the lip bar. I love that and I love Kalana and she has mad style and how I met Kalana was she was a big beauty editor and I used to bring her 
Flower Beauty and meet her at desk sides. Now, both of you are, I'm just looking at you and I'm sorry, I never hold back. You're both so stunning. You're both so beautiful. And I would love to ask you if you uh, go into Lit Bar and go on the webpage, what is one product that you would say start with? Oh, so, I mean, I think you start with a lip. The lip is the thing that changes your entire face. But as of late, my jam has been concealer. It's what makes me look a little bit more alive on my Zoom calls. <laughs> Absolutely, and you have an amazing full face palette and a whole get ready in seven minutes, which I think every woman can appreciate. Like give me a stopwatch because that's kind of how life is working anyway. So I just think you've really figured out, you know, clean beauty, the business side, the creative side. You, you know, you had, you were on Shark Tank and it like didn't work out, but look at you now. And it's like, I love that because I think that's important for people to hear because roadblocks can make you feel like it's never gonna happen. And it's like, you're crushing it. And I have to say in the beauty industry that I'm involved in being a beauty junkie and a beauty business owner, people really respect Lip Bar. It is a very loved, respected loyalty to a company. You have really done it. And I am so honored to share my Instagram page with you today. It's something Lovey and I have done with everybody and I am just honored. And Lovey, gosh, you really do have like the knack. You always find the most beautiful on the inside and out real trailblazer women. And I'm just so honored to do this show with you, Lovey, really and truly. Thank you guys so much. We will be right back. Melissa will be on Instagram and obviously all of this information will be on our website as well. Thank you ladies so much. Thanks, you, Drew. Thank you, thank you, thank you.